Industry thrives here because people want to be here. They want to work on the waterfront. They want to make it special. So I think there's a bit of a spark for young people around, oh, this is cool. It's not only this working area, but these people are, are really fun and engaged in what they're doing. I think there are relatively few places left in the world where there is a continuity between the maritime cultures of the past and the maritime cultures of the present. And when you sail into Lunenburg, you sail down a huge bay, and at the very end, you see this beautiful town swept up a hill, and underneath it, you see all these wharves, you see marine railways. You know that this town is about the water, and it's about boats. The working waterfront is an area that connects land and sea, and that connection is ships. Without ships, without boats, you only have work on the waterfront. You don't have a working waterfront. There's a lot of really busy fishing harbors in the southwest of Nova Scotia. Lunenburg is also a fishing harbor, and it has busy businesses involved in the fishery. But it also has a, a bustling boat building industry that goes alongside the fishing industry. And it has a busy tourism element to the harbor. There's lots of tours, whale watching, can go sailing. All of these things operate side by side. We have everything in one harbor, and I think that is unique. There are many companies related to the working waterfront here, the marine trades, that work together cohesively and there's, there's a, a real synergy there that allows visiting yachts uh, or boats to come here and it's kind of a one-stop shop. Lunenburg's uh, managed to survive, you know, uh, when other towns and ports on the, on, the, on the South Shore or around the Maritimes, for that matter, have kind of fizzled away or just pretty well turned into little tourist towns. I mean, we, we are, tourism is a big thing here in town, but we still have a, a core working waterfront here. The working waterfront in Lunenburg is, is the one thing that keeps the rest of the town going because people come to experience that. You know, I mean, it's the authenticity. Boat jobs, they're year round. They're better than minimum wage. They're living wage jobs. And the person that has a living wage job owns a house, pays a mortgage, goes to the grocery store, goes to the hardware store, you know, pays taxes in town. We have businesses that are robust, strong, good employers, 12 months of the year, not seasonal businesses that provide for business opportunities. Lunenburg has always been a working waterfront. Uh, there are a lot of very talented, great people here that are helping keep this alive. And we want to be able to pass this on to our kids and to their kids. People from all over the world that, that, have, that have moved here in the last number of years, so uh, it keeps it keeps things very interesting and there's a lot of a lot of talent that's moved into town. You know, there's a great community down here. There's different trades, there's different people that have different skills, different ages, different hobbies. But what we all have in common at the end of the day is that we're, we come here every single day, lots of weekends. And we're working to both build our own businesses and then to build things for customers. The big uh, issue came for Lunenburg in, uh, I would say, 2003. Clearwater announced that they were going to remove their fishing fleet from Lunenburg to ports closer to the fishing grounds. So it was a crisis for the town. The waterfront of Lunenburg was in jeopardy. There were buildings that became available and wharves and so on. So there was deep concern about uh, how we continue to be a working waterfront. We were very fortunate when the province saw the need to protect it uh, by acquiring the lands and called upon then Waterfront Development Corporation, now Develop Nova Scotia, to be the landlord and to work with the community on the revitalization. Well, if the working waterfront was removed from Lunenburg, you wouldn't have the half the jobs in, in the winter that would be a ghost town. It would ch totally change the character of the town. 
We've been in Lunenburg for at least 20 years. There's something unique about the authenticity and local flavor. It's magical. It's the people that are the whole reason that this keeps going. Friends that are here, the people that I work with on a day-to-day -day basis, the, the people I say hi to at the coffee shop, um, the people I sail with on my schooner here in Lunenburg. My favorite thing about Lunenburg, hands down, is the people. My favorite thing about Lunenburg is Hump Cup. <laughs> September Classic and other kinds of activities that really, yeah, they are the sort of the vitality of the, the community. Lunenburg as a town has, has the potential to be one of the world's best destinations for boaters. Uh, it, in my opinion, it already is, but it, it can be so much more. There should be a forest of masks down there, and it should be noisy, and it should be busy. Humming with guys and girls working. Working in February and working in August. And on Friday, everyone should be at the pub spending their money. Paris has the Eiffel Tower. Egypt has their pyramids. Prince Edward Island has Anne of Green Gables. Lunenburg has Blue Nose and the working waterfront. And that's what really makes us special.